Hey y'all, it's me Kelly. This is video number two in the Mod Melts. I promise you it's not going to be long at all. I um, wanted to show you, I got, I got the glue or the Mod Melt off of here. And what I did was I hit it with the heat gun. You can actually see down here there's a little bit more left because when I hit it with the heat gun, um, I could peel it off because it, of course it remelted it. Be very careful because it does get hot. Um, you can even use your silicone uh, sheet that you work on, you know. And I kept pushing it down to the bottom. As you can see, there's some here. So I just have to heat this one more time. I took my little um, skewer and went in to clear out all the little things. Um, so they are, it, it is fixable. It does remelt. It comes right off. I took my rag, wiped, I just kept wiping everything down. And now I just have to really clean. Um, so that was no harm done there. And the same with this. I heated it with the heat gun from this side. Um, I have to go and heat one more time just to really clean it out. But um, the powder worked the best. I probably wouldn't use these for this. Um, but uh, if you do use a powder or some sort of Vaseline or cooking spray or whatever, um, again, these are the silicone molds are the best. Stamping in it turned out great. Um, as you saw, the metal um, Lisa Pavalka polymer clay things and all the silicone molds um, and, you know, work out great. Now, what I, wear, I really want to try, my gun's heating up, but I have, I love amazing mold putty. So I have a mold here that I had made and we're going to try it in this. I also got my butterfly clean. As you can see, it needs one more little clean, but I got all the glue off and there's just a little bit around the edges. I just have to sit and heat up one more time and take off and that'll be back to using for my uh, polymer clay. No big deal. So nothing got ruined. Um, I have a nice big pile of all these pieces that I'm going to put into a Ziploc bag. And this is what I took off of the... Um, the one plastic um, thing. All these little pieces and I pick them off my silicone mat and I'll put them in a little baggie and then I have them to melt into my um, UT, uh, you know, heat melt, uh, where you do your melt art. I can't think of the name of it right now, mounting pot. So I'm just taking my silicone mold. This is amazing mold putty. My guns are ready. And I'm just going to squirt in. See what we got. See if it pops out easy and I have my next, I'm going through these mod melts like crazy. Practicing and playing to see what I can do with them because you don't want to, you know, I want to know what they're able to do. I'm one of them people before I go out and spend all my money. And so far I'm very, very happy. I do need a new heat gun, I think. Just for these. Because, um... I'm not going to be able to put, there we go. I'm not going to be able to put, um, come on, baby, squeeze in there. My heat gun's like, it, it's not melting my thing face enough for me. But that's okay, I got a little bit in here. I just want to see how it reacts with the silicone mold so we don't have to have all that in there. My glue uh, stick is being a shit. <laughs> a little piece of shit. My glue gun, rather. I love it. I'm going to have to get out another glue gun. But anyway, you see we're what we're using. Like I said, this is such an old heat gun, and I wanted to use it because... Um, In case, you know, I don't want to use my good, my good one. So I'm going to leave that. We're just going to leave that. You can see it's filled, you know, I mean, we got it in there. It's going to show you what it's going to do. I got more pieces to put to melt. And I just want to know why this isn't going to go through for me. While that dries for just a second. I don't exactly know why. I had no problem with the other ones.
but it gets so far and then the handle don't work. I think it's time to buy a new one. Which I'll probably just buy, you know, a small, inexpensive one to use for these because you don't need much. But I'm not going to keep trying to jam it in there right now. Okay. And again, this is just amazing mold putty that I made into a, uh, it's an octopus. We're only going to see a little part of it as it dries because that's all I got out right now because I wasn't prepared, but I just wanted to show very quickly. And like I said, all these extra pieces that you have left over, or if something doesn't work out, it's not a big deal because you just, like I said, get a little baggie and you throw them in there and throw them in your melting pot. And then, you know, you can pour from there, pour into all kinds of molds. I have so many ideas and cleaning. It wasn't really that bad. Um, you just have to heat it from the other side, you know, just, quickly and I would advise using a hair dryer or um, filling your sink just with a little bit of really really hot water um, and then just setting your mold in it so the bottom touches it so it kind of loosens that up so it comes out the heat um, gun will melt your plastic so if you see this one right here the monkey one how it melted I'm just gonna set this in some hot water um, or use my hair dryer so it doesn't get hot because like I said it'll melt and then it's ruined you don't want to ruin it but um, you know even sitting it like I said in hot water it'll just release it enough on the bottom that you can peel the rest of it off so there really are no mistakes in that sense when it comes to this so it's these are really worth buying and playing with I mean, think how cool, while we're waiting for this for one more second, think how cool it would be if you took, you know, you took your thing and you put it on your pad here, you know, on your um, nonstick surface and um, you put out your, you know, you put out a nice white, you know, thick whiteness or clear, whatever you get, and you take st your uh, silicone stamps. Remember, you have to use the clear silicone. The other ones, I don't think will come off. I, I'm almost going to guarantee you they won't come off. And remember, we got this cool print from it, which I'm going to use in a um, painting as part of the background. Look how cool. And it's just texture. It's just more texture. Um, but, I mean, imagine doing that and then sticking somebody's name, like the letters for somebody's name, or, or a saying, or whatever. Leaving it dry, you know, you push them in. Once it's dry, you pull them out. They come right out. And, um, you know, how cool that would be to personalize either a piece of jewelry or a painting or, you know, whatever. And just play around. All right, this feels like it got another second. And you can use Pearl X with these. You can use... Um, you know, all kinds of stuff. Like I said, I use my Twinkling H2Os because I'm obsessed with them right now to see how they worked. And um, it worked really good. I mean, I'm really happy with it, the way it came out. Let's see. I mean, look at the texture. I wish I would have done, I wish I would have painted a black underneath and then did that to highlight the front top. But just playing around, showing. Here's my little flowers, which they do have. These are this is a Martha Stewart mold, but they do have these. They have all kinds of different flower molds in the mod uh, pod melts, you know. But really, really cool. And like I said, I'm gonna pick up one or two of their um, molds there. Now that I love this product so much, but I really had to try it out. Um, also, what I was thinking, which I'm not gonna do on camera, because I have so many of these paint um, palettes and I did do this with resin um, and I'm going to try it with this although I'm going to have to grease it I'm either going to have to spray PM or Vaseline in here I'm not even going to trust the powder um, but uh, which I did use what did I use I think I used spray PM I think or spray you know the cooking spray um, when I did the resin and I want to do it in here and then put some in here and make it so it's a dome so when it comes out it'll just fall out um, if it all goes well and I'll have a picture of it after I, I'll do it this weekend um, and then 
I'd like to decorate it and then make it a ring because I have like ring blanks and I'd love to make that as a ring on top. Something really, really cool. Maybe if I do that and it comes out really cool, I'll give it away as a prize. And these little pieces can just be cut off. They cut, this cuts like, I mean like nothing and it goes in my little scrap pile. Like nothing, I love things that don't waste. So let's take this out and see if it comes, look how easy it comes out. I'm gonna pee my pants. And look, let's see if you can see. Look at the detail. That's with amazing mold putty. So if you're an amazing mold putty freak like me and you mold everything, which I have a humongous thing here, okay? Um, now you got something else to do if you run out of resin. Or, you know, I mean, this took how long to dry? And, and remember, these come in clear as I'm shaking and it's getting all um, <laughs> hard to see. But it also comes in clear. Let me see if I can put it on here if you can see better. So you can also get it clear and it'll dry fast. Oh my gosh. Clear up already. Look. I don't think I have anything to really give it a good, like, dusting to show you how good it looks. Come on, let me see if I have some perfect pearls here. Of course. Oh, I have Vaseline right behind me, of course. Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't she have Vaseline sitting right behind her and not use it? Let me see if I can dust this a little bit so you can see the detail. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm in love. Love, I say. Okay, now you're going to be able to see the texture. And like I said, remember, this was just the end of my glue of my Mod Melt. I'm in love with this product. Look at this. Clear up. Look at that. And that is from an amazing mold putty mold using the Mod Melts. Oh, the, I mean, the things are endless what we could do with these. This is awesome. So thrilled. So that was my number two. I didn't want to make it as long. I, I think I got it under 13 minutes, which is awesome. But I just wanted to show you. I was sitting here and I'm like, oh, I wonder if. And yes, it works in your amazing mold putty mold. Yay. I have a whole, my whole world has opened up. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thanks for bearing with me. I hope you try this. Any questions, ask me. Stay tuned. Um, by the end of next week, I'm going to have a contest. And uh, thanks for... Uh, subbing and, and watching my videos, my crazy, crazy videos, because I'm insane. And uh, that's it. Let's see how close we can get it on here without it going nuts, without seeing my nasty hand. I'll keep it here and do this. Look how awesome. Look! That's a mod mount in an amazing mold putty. Ah, I'm going to pee my pants out of excitement. <laughs> Bye, y'all.